Blue is in again. Hello everyone and thank you for joining us once again on the D Star Zero One channel. My name is Dexter Raff for this and here we're here again at Comic Con San Diego and we're here for another event exclusive color edition Vegito. And this is Super Saiyan Blue Vegito and I'm really excited about this one. But the thing about this figure is I'm sad that it is not the new fighting body, it's the old Goku body where it has the ball joints for the legs. Now that's kind of a problem for me, but Really what I'm buying this for is the look, because you get the blue hair and it looks really good. But enough of me talking, let's just go into it and let's see how this figure really is. Now I know this one was really tough to get into. I just want to tell you a quick story. We saw the line and we're like, oh man, we can't get in. They had to keep us moving. So we kept moving back and forth, back and forth, and they told us 30, 40 minutes. And I know, I know that guy was just BSing us. He was totally BSing us because five minutes later, he allowed the line to open. And so many people aimed for the, oh my goodness. There was like 40 people going for the line and it was, it was just, it was insanity. <laughs> managed to get in, Janelle and I, and we managed to pick these guys up. So there you have it. Let's look closer at this guy. Let's see if he was worth the hassle. So there we have it. We have Vegito there. Looking really good. Now let's take off all the plastic and let's see what's going on. Let's take a closer look. So there you have it. Ooh, proper shading this time. As most of the older Dragon Ball um, action figures have a lot more shading, the newer ones are just pretty much pale. And what we have here is that blue hair, which is pretty much what you want to buy this for. And it has like a metallic blue sheen to it. Not so much like the figure rise uh, Super Saiyan blue hair, where that one's just really metallic. This one has a slight metallic finish to it with a proper hair color. And of course we have an overall matte finish looking really solid. The last unboxing I did was of Cell and he had a paint defect and I'm trying to look for one right now. And it doesn't look like this one has any paint defect. Quality control on this one looks to be pretty good. So yeah, overall not bad. Looking really good in terms of paint detail. Actually, he's really good. <laughs> uh, I expect nothing but the best from Tamashi Nations. So let's go over articulation and scale. And let's see what's going on with that. So what we have here, let's see how tall he is. He's looking to stand at about six and a quarter inches and then what we have, we have a event exclusive cell. SH figure art, right, Super Saiyan 2, Battle Damage Gohan. And we have Goku here, Saiyan raised on Earth. Obviously, he should scale really well with other SH figure arts figures. But let's see if he scales well with other figures. And what we're looking here is Marvel Legends Black Spider Man, Mezco Deadpool. And just because I have Mezco Punisher. As you can see, he scales really well with other action figures from different companies, as he should. So let's look closer at the articulation. We have an up and down here at the toe. We have a ball jointed ankle. We have bend at the knee. Single bend at the knee, no longer that double joint that you see here with the new fighting body, which I really love that double joint. It's just so sturdy. It's perfect, but we'll see over time. I've never really liked this. I mean, my Vegito, I have the original Vegito. Actually, yeah, here, let's just look. Let's do a quick comparison. Original Vegito. I got this one, I'm going to say 2013, maybe 2014. Yeah. And he's pretty much just stood on my shelf like this ever since I got him. That's it. That's all he does. Nothing more, nothing less. All the accessories are in the box. And so far, he's not loose. He's remained tight. That's because I hardly pose him. And this one looks to be the same, really tight, nice quality control on there. So as you can see here, let's compare the two real quick. We got the same skin tone. This one has a darker color scheme as it should. And then this one has a lighter color scheme. So what should happen here, if I'm not mistaken, I should be able to take the blue one off and put it on the old body. That's what I'm gonna do here. If that ball joint wants to agree with me, and there you have it. So if you want that old, darker gi, you can do it. The head looks a little bit smaller 
Nah, I'm just imagining it. That looks really good. So there you go. If you want the darker one, you have the old Vegito and you want to get this one, you want to put that head on, you can. So there he is. And then we're going to put it right back. Okay, and there he is, looking really solid. So now that we've gone over articulation and scale, and we've done some comparisons, let's go over his accessories. Of course, you get the, the beam sword, the cross arms, and this hair piece, four extra faces, the blue, the hands, five extra hands, and uh, yeah, the blue eyebrows on that one looks really good. And let's look at this hair. Now, there's something I wanted that I noted, and uh, it is like this dark chocolate brown, I guess. And let's look at this one, see? It's like, this one's like a, a raven black and this is like a brownish because it goes with the color scheme that he is like lighter than the original. And as you can see, it just looks different. Some people don't like it, some people do like it. I remember seeing uh, Anthony's Customs, he, he did a, a, a video of these before they were released. And I saw that and I was like, ooh, I don't know if I like that. And now that I have it here in my hands, I'm 50-50 on it. I do like the black hair better. I mean, it's just more Saiyan. You know what I mean? This one is not. I don't know. Maybe that's how it is in a couple of the episodes where someone just messed up the color and painted it a slightly dark brown. So let's take this head off and let's, let's do a quick color uh, swap. I do want to see what he looks like with it. Oh, actually, I shouldn't even do that. It's its own thing. So here we have the non blue. And I'm gonna put that on. Let's see how it looks. Should be that simple. Put that there. Put that there. And there you have it. Super Saiyan Blue Vegito, or just regular Vegito in this case, with a lighter color scheme and lighter hair. I'm actually really liking that. That hair just makes sense with that color scheme. It looks really good. Yeah, I really am starting to love this figure. It looks really good. Yeah, so far, let's look closer at that face. Yeah, look at that. That looks sharp. Really sharp, really liking that. Okay, let's get some accessories on. Definitely want to get the beam going. Let's get this going. Look at the beam hand on. Should just slide right in for the Super Saiyan beam. Yeah, look at that. Boom. Look at that. Looking so good. Oh man, let's focus a little bit. Yeah, let's look closer. Yeah, that looks really nice. I've always loved this effect piece. It just, it's lightweight. It fits, it just works. So yeah, there you have it. All right guys, so let's go for the final assessment of this action figure. Yes, absolutely worth the pickup. I honestly thought the brown hair would not work well, but it really does and it looks fantastic. Absolutely loving this. So glad to have this in my collection. Definitely worth the buy. Hopefully you guys can get them at a good price if you're not here at Comic-Con. I know these are going high up on eBay. So if you can get one for a good price, good luck guys. Anyway, that's all the time that we have for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. So, rate, comment, and subscribe right here, right there, right here. Yeah.